Hello friends, this video on Air Around Us Part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, when you t when, why are we talking about air? That's because it's very very important for all living organisms. Now every organism, whether you talk about human beings, you talk about insects, you talk about birds, animals, aquatic animals, plants, everybody needs air. So, you can understand how critical air is. So, we breathe in and breathe out. We all know that we breathe in, breathe out. So, you, right now also you must be taking your breath. So, when you breathe in, what do you breathe in? So, we actually breathe in air. When we breathe out, what do we breathe out? We breathe out air again. Right? So, not only us, you think of fishes which live inside the water. They also need air. Now, you might ask, but they live inside water. So, from where will they get air? So, we will learn about that, that how do they get air. But they also need air for their survival. And how can you uh, get to know that fishes also need air? So, if you ever observe the fishes inside the aquarium, you can actually see some water bubbles inside the water. And these bubbles indicate the presence of air. So air is there somewhere inside the water also. Think of animals like lion, tiger, dogs, cats, insects, like butterflies, even the plants. So, all these organisms, they all need air. So the question now, the most important question, which are the gases that are present inside the air or is it just a single gas? Because as I said, it, it is a gaseous substance, but whether it is just one gas or many gases mixed together, so that's the doubt, next doubt. So let's now talk about the composition of air. What is air made up of? So, this air which we see is not a single gas. It is a mixture of various gases. So as you can see here, so this is the air around us, which seems to be like maybe just one gas, but it is actually many gases together. So it has nitrogen, oxygen, argon, carbon dioxide, many other gases also in very, very small amounts. So here you see a big box which it says N2, that is nitrogen. That, that It actually tries to show that air contains maximum proportion of nitrogen. So a bigger box for nitrogen. The next proportion for oxygen. So a comparatively smaller box for oxygen. The third proportion for argon, so yet smaller box for argon. If you look at carbon dioxide, it has got a very small box. And finally, this such a tiny box is for all other gases. So that shows that which gas is present in what amount in air. So let us now look at the exact composition of air. So when you talk about the composition, it is a mixture of gases. A lot of different gases are present in air. Now this picture might be giving you some idea about which gases are present in larger amount and which gases are present in smaller amounts. So let's have a look. Nitrogen, oxygen, argon, carbon dioxide, other gases are some of the important gases. Okay, so other gases would mean all those gases which are present in very, very minute amounts. So here you see the blue region. So if you think of uh, a circular piece of anything, maybe a circular biscuit. So this much part of the biscuit is nitrogen. That means majority part of it is made up of nitrogen. So this is nitrogen. Next is the green one which is smaller than nitrogen obviously but still quite big and that green one is oxygen so this is oxygen then you have the yellow one which is argon as you see here and the red one is carbon dioxide and the purple one is others so basically in this small segment you have carbon dioxide and you also have others. So these others means in this others you have many different gases. So just imagine they are present in such minute amounts in air. So that's the overall composition of air. So if you want to have a look at the comparative amounts of or comparative percentage of each of these gases, so you can have. Now besides all these gases, you also have water vapor, dust particles which are also present in air. So water vapor, dust particles, they are also part of air, but since they are not gases, so uh, percentage wise their composition is not mentioned here. 
So let us look at the percentage of each of these gases. So when it comes to nitrogen, so the percentage of nitrogen is almost 79%. So approximately 79% is nitrogen, approximately 21% is so let us look at the exact percentage of each of these gases. So when we talk about nitrogen, that is the highest amount. So the percentage of air that is made up of nitrogen is 78.09. So 78.09 percentage of air is made up of nitrogen. Next comes oxygen, which com composes 20.95% of the air. So if you, as I told you that, that if you look at an entire piece of biscuit, 78% of the biscuit is made up of nitrogen, 20% of it is made up of oxygen. So in fact you can say that nitrogen and oxygen constitutes the most of the air because if you add these two 78.09 and 20.95 it is almost 98.99 so you are just left with another one percent and carbon dioxide argon and all other gases together form that remaining one percent of air so they are very present in very very small amounts the next is argon and argon is present in 0 0.93 percent so 0 0.93 percent which is even less than 1% of the air is made up of argon. You talk about carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide, this gas is made, it, it is 0.03%. So it is, it is, you see it is not even 0.1%. It's like 0.03% is carbon dioxide. And then the remaining amount, which is again 0, 0.00 something. So that is made up of all other gases in very very minute amounts. So if you look at the composition of air you will see that nitrogen is 78.09 percentage of the air. So that, that's what I was trying to show you in the previous slide that if you have a biscuit like this so 78.09 part of it is nitrogen. So this much part of the biscuit is nitrogen somewhere around the remaining part so maybe around uh, say 20.95 percentage is made up of oxygen so let's say if this is oxygen in fact nitrogen would be more so nitrogen would be almost this much so this entire piece would be nitrogen this piece would be oxygen and this much part will have argon, this will also have carbon dioxide, it will also have all other gases. So that's the composition of air. Now it's very important to understand the composition of air because a lot of times people feel that okay air is just one gas but air is a mixture of all these gases and any uh, sample of air which you take they contain these gases in these proportions. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.